Meanwhile, it was a second day of protest today outside the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office after video of a beating hit social media early Tuesday morning. But there's new information tonight that may change the way this case is viewed. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live in Ann Arbor tonight with the latest. Rod. Yeah, Kimberly, it's a simple question. What is the proper response for a police officer if he gets bitten during an arrest? That was the, the specter that was raised this afternoon in a news conference with the Washtenaw County Sheriff, which came shortly after a protest that was held right here behind me. This is the animating video, an unidentified Washtenaw County Sheriff's deputy throwing three punches at a woman, 45-year-old Shatina grady L, during an arrest early Tuesday morning in Ypsilanti. Oh, the rally brought in a couple hundred people, dozens of signs decrying racism and police brutality, and organizer Trish Duckworth asked everyone to stay calm. This is an example of how the police can be so aggressive even when we are not trying to be That was not a good look, especially at this time. But what I will say is we are here to set the example. An unexpected surprise came when Shatina grady -L and her husband Daniel showed up. Shatina had just left the Wayne County Jail after having an outstanding arrest warrant from Taylor putting her behind bars. Because, you know, I've had a conversation with a sergeant or two. I'm not saying everybody's bad that's in law enforcement. Right. But those bad apples make the whole bag seem rotten. Yeah. Yeah. This is the scuffle from the arresting officer's body cam. The sheriff says it was here that the deputy was bitten. We asked Sheriff Jerry Clayton if these punches are the proper response. I'm going to resist commentary on that because I want to make sure I don't do anything and nothing that I say sways or interferes with the investigator's investigation or any of the decisions that are made by the attorney general. What he's talking about there is the attorney general will make uh, a charging decision whether or not to make charges in this case with that officer. Um, and it's the Michigan Sheriff's Association that is conducting the investigation into that. Back to you. And what is the status with the officer right now, Rod? Uh, the officer is off duty on administrative leave awaiting the decisions in this case. As we do as well. All right, Rod.